I've worn spectacles or glasses since I was 11 years old. Over the years, I've been through rimless, silver, bronze, every type you can possibly imagine. I've gone through an enormous number of pairs, so, but it's always an adjustment when I switched to bifocals. So when I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking at you, I, to, to read the prompter, I have to sort of get my eyes in exactly the right position on the very vocal, otherwise I'm seeing in the wrong place and I can't read it. You get the idea. The Finnish eyewear company, ICSI, is aiming to solve the problem of bifocals. So here they are. Oh, don't worry, there's no lenses in them. Uh, they are autofocus glasses. They have eye tracking sensors and the liquid crystals in the lenses, so they adjust the focus based on what the wearer is looking at. Nico Iden is the chief executive of ICSI, and he's with me now. Uh, this, is, this is fascinating. Explain, please. Explain how it does it or what it does. Yeah, thanks, Richard. The, uh, the idea is quite, quite simple. So we have the eye tracker, as, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and uh, we have basically a vector of, of both eyes. So we know the direction of the eyes. When you look at the close distance, your eyes converge. And that's how we know the distance. And once we know the distance that you're looking at somewhere that is in close proximity, we turn on a liquid crystal lens and provide you the reading power. And again, when you look far, it goes away. So the analogy is exactly the same as with autofocus cameras. How quickly can it make that adjustment? Now, you, again, I don't think you can see me, but I'm, I'm going up and down um, and my eyes are adjusting inst almost instantaneously. How quickly can this thing the, the liquid crystal change. You actually think that your eyes are fast, but but it takes roughly two to three hundred milliseconds to focus with your eyes. Right. Uh, we need uh, kind of a cup, maybe 20, 30 milliseconds to to calculate the distance. And and while you're focusing, we can turn on the lens. And and turning on the lens, turning off the lens, current with the current technology that we have is roughly one hundred milliseconds in room temperature. So it's it's super fast. The ability of the lens to adjust. Now, my lenses, for example, they're pretty fixed. You know, they, they've, they've been cast and that's the end yep. of it. But I imagine since this is a movable feast, it can be tweaked, it can be amended. I mean, you tell me, the, the, the opportunity for personalizing and continuing to change must be quite considerable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I mean, the future feels quite fantastic. Uh, we'll start a bit simpler. So we'll start with a combination of fixed power and, and then right. the liquid crystal lens that, that provides them the reading power. But going forward, there's nothing preventing us. You walk into a shop, you pick your pair of glasses, and then on the mobile application, you tune in your power and you walk away. Or if your eyes change, you can also change the, the optical power afterwards to a different power. Right. Or we could even detect whether you're able to focus in the evening when your eyes get tired and, and provide you some, some additional power. So it's, it's, it's actually quite mind-blowing what you can so do with these. The, the, my, my reservation is it's all very clever, but it can also go wrong. Now, the only thing that can really happen to my glasses is I sit on them, I step on them, and I break them. But these... I mean, yep. the reliability has to be quite in, uh, high, bearing in mind the complexity of the task which it's completing. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's a good point. So as I said, we're combining it with static prescription to see far. So if you're driving with a car and something goes wrong, you, you have that static traditional prescription. And then if, if the things break, you won't have reading power, but hey, that's what happens anyway. If you're using reading glasses, you'll never find them anyway. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Um, tell me, so w the popularity, what happens next with these glasses? Well, we've been researching, doing fundamental research uh, on the idea now for four and a half years. And right. we are now finalizing. So it's, it's super nice as a startup to, to have new, a new set of challenges. And uh, in the yeah. near term, we'll be finalizing and, and hopefully we'll get them certified and, and bring them to the shops as fast yeah, as possible. Yeah, uh, my, um, my producer rightly screamed in my ear, ask him how much they cost. Go on, sir. Do you have a rough ballpark <laughs> figure? It's going to be on the high end traditional eyewear pricing. So if you uh, buy very good uh, bifocals, uh, that's roughly the price point we're aiming at.
Nothing, right, so nothing really in the it. product that you ha holding in your hand is. Yeah, there's nothing that special. It's it's all in the combination of how we right. built it and and then the software side, as as a combination. Uh, and I'll make it clear. I will be paying full price, full price, sir. But when you're when you're manufacturing and you're selling, I'd like to try them out. So, but I only, you've got to say this, because the viewer, well, the, our, our dear viewer is quite sure I'm going to get a freebie. No, full price, sir, full price. Profitable moment is next. Questions business. Thank you for joining us.